All right, let's do this. And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm Pierre, your host. Welcome back to my stream. I hope you're all doing OK. I know that I am. Thanks for asking. So like every day, let's start off our day by going over to the computer. Let's check out what we did yesterday and then we'll tackle our day from there. OK, so what did we do yesterday? Well, we worked on adding eyeballs to our nuclear guy. Then we added a little bit of details more to this last plant that we added day before yesterday. Added then these little stars followed by the first coat of these little sperms. And that was basically what we did yesterday. We finished off the day by adding these little flowers to our purple plants. So what are we going to do today? Well, today it's very simple. We are going to, I'm going to start off by putting a very light second coat of red paint, some sh shading on this guy, move on to this plant and finish it off by outlining it in black. Then we're going to add some um, cerulean blue to our little sperms here, add a little gold here. Hopefully when that is done, we can come back to this guy and maybe outline him in black if it's uh, sufficiently dry. And then basically we should be finished with this entire piece and tomorrow we can tackle the frame. So that's what I'm aiming for at least today. So let's get to work right away. Like I said, I'm just going to put a light coat of red paint on the eyeball just to get rid of the brush strokes. <clears throat> and I'm not going to put it on very thick because I am hoping that it will dry quickly so we can move on and uh, finish this guy like I just mentioned a few seconds ago. So I do have a little bit of red paint left over from yesterday. Just adding a little bit of water. There we go. Ah, another beautiful spring day here in Nice, uh, France. It's wonderful. So let me just bring over camera number one. I'll set him over to the side here so we can follow more closely what we're doing. I'm going to offset him a little bit to make sure that I'm not in the, in the way. Let me move this chair back, move the camera over, and there we're ready to go. I'll just switch cameras now. And let's get this done. And the second coat just adds a lot of richness to this as well. There we go. And I'll guess I'll just add a little bit right here as well. I want to put it on too thick. There we go. Just like that. OK. So the first part is done. Now I'm going to get out the cerulean blue and add the shadows and effects to our guy here. Okay, right here. I have yesterday's palette right here as well. Let's use that. So I am not going to need all that much. Okay, just going to add a little bit more. And let's get the right brush together. I'm going to use two separate brushes because here I'm just going to do some highlights on the head. And then I'm going to just do a little bit more. Well, whatever. I shouldn't try to explain things when I don't know really what I'm saying either. So, <laughs> hey boy. So I want a brush that's kind of stiff not too soft. And this is usually my go to guy. So let's get him wet. Soften the hairs a little bit. 
I'm just going to take a second and see really what I want to do. Just a quick little here, there, there, little shadow here. And then shadows on the hand. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to use a brush full of water to get the paint to be the right consistency that I enjoy using. So it flows on the canvas the way it should. And at the same time, get on my stiff brush the way I want it. There we go. I think this will do the trick. Let me see if camera number one. Okay, I'll move it back because it's a little zoomed in too closely. So I'll start on the head part like that. So let's switch cameras. And let's get to work. First of all, I'm coming back here because I notice I'm moving so quickly. I didn't bother to put the top back on my red paint. And that is a no-no. Okay. Whew. Got that done. Let's get back to work and chill out at the same time. I'm a little speeding here. Can't wait to... Waiting all morning just to get back into the studio. I'm like this almost every day, but still need to chill. So let's get back to camera number one. And let's add just a little bit right there. Just like that. A little shade right here. Just like that. Of course, it will be outlined in black a little bit, all this, so no need to be too picky. There we go. That is for the head. Now, let's get back to the arm and the hands. But first, I am going to switch paint brushes for this part. And I'm going to get one, a brush that's... Actually, I'm going to use the brush I used on the red of the eyeballs. I think this will be the perfect size. So let me just fill it with cerulean blue. I'm going to need a lot more than that. I can tell right now. So I'm going to just add a little bit more. There we go. Add a little more and add a little more water again to get it to be that right texture, that right consistency. I mean, this is not rocket science, just a little bit of water and cerulean blue. Just mix it all in together. And actually, I think I'm going to bring my chair over. Because it looks like I need to be in a comfortable position. After doing years and years of painting on paper and gluing them on the street, I kind of like to work in a way that what goes down, what I put down on the canvas stays. I don't like to rework things too much. And it comes from those days of painting on paper where you had to work extremely quickly and be accurate with every gesture. So I kind of kept that. There we go. So I got this right. Let me just pull my chair over. I'm going to start with the hand, I think. Yeah, I'm going to start with the hand. Okay, very good. So where's my camera number one? I guess I can bring it just a little bit closer. And I'll just zoom in a little more before I switch cameras. There we go.
just like that. All right, very good. Again, all this will have a black outline. And I am going to add just a little bit right here for the left hand, which is in the background. Just a little bit right there, like that, and like right here. There we go. There. And I'm going to come back to over here. So for this, I have to get back up, move things around a little bit, get my chair out of the way. I'm going to move this camera back as well. And just bring it back a little bit like that. There we go. Do that and now. So I have several choices. I don't I don't really want to do anything too realistic, really. I'm not into that. I'm kind of doing like doing like kind of a fantasy kind of design and of course I always like kind of ping pong back to my favorite things which is like sperms. I can't help it. I just love these sperms man. That's what brought me into this world with my mom's little egg. And for some odd reason I feel like doing one. So that's what I'm going to do. What the heck? Since nothing is really real it doesn't really matter. Something like that. Maybe even make this just a little bit bigger. That's how I see things, just like that. Nothing has to do with reality. Step back for a second, think this out before I do anything. Okay. Very good. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Maybe just just to be a little bit finicky, I'm going to just come There we go. No one will ever notice but myself, but anyways, that's, there we go. Now, we are going to leave 
this dry and I am going to come back here and work on our window to space. I'm going to start off on these little sperms, do a little shading with those. It makes all the difference, really. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to stop when I finish these three and do a little outline in gold. And I'm going to do that now because afterwards, I don't want to get, after I'm going to have to do it down here as well, don't want to get my hands into the paint. So I'm going to do, so there, well, whatever, you'll see. We'll all see and do this together. So I need a really tiny little brush for this. What about this guy? We'll try him. Maybe he's too big. I might have to switch. We'll see in a few seconds. Oh, yes, I said before I would do this, I would do this guy down here first. Well, it's all, it'll end up after I do this, I'll do the plant and then we'll do the second coat on the guy. I guess it all works out the same. So what am I looking for besides my head? I got my paint right here, got my brush right there. So I need uh, nothing except to have the right paintbrush. So here we go. Let's try this out. I have a feeling this brush is going to be way too big, but we'll try it. I'll move the camera over. Make sure that we are got this the way it should be. And actually, I'm going to zoom this in quite a bit like that. We can really see, is this the one I'm going to tackle first? Okay. So, I got my brush full of paint. And let's tackle this. I'm just going to switch cameras again. There we go. This brush seems to work just right. There we go. I'll just move it over a notch. There we go. Get these guys out. Just like that. Very good. I'll move the camera down a little bit more. Maybe move it back just a whisker. Beautiful. There we go. And what else can I do that won't be in the way? I guess I can do this last the one just below as well. I'm trying to figure out the way I can paint without putting my hands in the paint afterwards. But I think I'll be safe by going right in here. There we go. Very nice. And I'll just pull this back and we're going to tackle this one on the upper right hand corner. I think I can do that right now. Yep, this guy right here.
There we go. There, isn't that sweet? Very nice. Okay. So, got that done, and now I'm going to switch over to the gold just to do a little thin gold outline there. Just a little teensy-weensy little line. And I guess I'll use this palette. Get a little bit of gold, really won't need that much. I'm going to grab a clean brush that's a lot wider than what I really need, but it's just to get the right texture of this gold. Again, I want it to be kind of like ink, yet I want it to retain its opacity to the max. So I'm just going to work this a little bit. Add a little water to it. There we go. There we go, just work it a little more. It looks a little stiff still. And like I said, I'm going to want this to flow like it was ink. So I'll just add a little bit more water. There we go. That looks like it should do the trick. Now, maybe I'll just one tiny little drop of water more. Yes, that's even better. Look at that, very nice. Okay, so I got the texture of the gold right. Now the other key thing is getting the right paintbrush the right size paintbrush because I want this to be a very thin line. And I think I do have the right brush right here, which is really awfully thin. But I think it's what I need. Maybe I should just take a second and double check all my choices here. Okay, let's let's just go with this guy here. Okay, I guess I know where I want to go. I'll just bring this camera back. From here to down here. Okay. Just want to make sure I had the camera right. Let me get some paint on my brush now. And, well, I'll go to the double. And let's try this. Okay, very good. Now, I'll just switch back to camera number one. And now let's head the other way.
There we go. Very cool. Very nice. Just gonna There we go. So that is that. Now I want to get to these lower ones. And I'll put this, I'll do the, yes, I'll do the gold right now. That's why, that was the whole point of this whole thing. Okay. So I'm going to do the gold on this lower right-hand side now. So I might as well bring the camera over just a whisker so we can do this together. This one's going to be a little bit smaller than this one. So let me just turn this. Right, I want this to be right here, okay. Get my brush ready before I switch cameras. Okay. So I like starting in the middle and working my way out on both sides because I want the middle to be just a little bit thicker than the, the ends, of course. Okay, there's one half. Well, look at that. Just the way I wanted it. Very cool, very lucky. Okay, so let's come back here. Let's get this brush cleaned off right away because it is so thin that it's extremely fragile. There we go. I'll set this aside. This one I'll leave in the water for now. And we are back to our blue sperms. So I have the blue right here, the right brush. Just maybe work it a little bit because it probably stiffened, but not that much. And there we go. That looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. Just want to clean off the excess on this brush though. And I'm going to step back for a split second. Maybe take a look at the computer, make sure the camera and my brain are on the same wavelength, which apparently for once they are. And, okay, so let's, uh, let's start sperming away. I'm going to start off with these guys right here. There's one. There's two. Very good. Let's move down to the next couple of guys. There we go. Well, I don't know what's going on, but I'm extremely coordinated today. Everything is going just the way it should, I guess, for a professional. And 
let's come down to it. These last little suckers right here. Very good. Boy, this is a nice fat one right here. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's bring this guy back out. Let's check out the whole window here for a second. Very good. So something that I mentioned yesterday that in these yellow stars that I have here on the border, I like adding a lemon yellow, almost white in the middle of those. Nobody notices it. Nobody will ever think of even looking that closely. But since I have my nose on the canvas, I just kind of like doing that. So I'm going to just whip out this jar of yellow paint that I've had for since forever because I never use this yellow for anything else. Lemon yellow. Honestly, I find that a pretty ugly yellow. But I should think about using it maybe for something else. Who knows? Anyways, so I'm going to bring this camera back up. Zoom in the maximum I can without the camera going blurry. And I'm going to tackle this. Just adding a little bit of this, just a little yellow spot in the heart of these stars. So where am I? This is where I want to go. There we go. Just a little dab of bright yellow. And I'm going to move this back. And I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want this to go on forever. I'm going to hurry up just to, to do a little doobies right there. And another one right here. That's cool. And I'm going to do the same for all the rest of these below. Let's grab a little bit of that lemon yellow. Oop. There we go. As it dries, of course, the texture will shrink. So I can put it on fairly fat. There we go. So our window into space is all done. Very cool. Very good. OK, let me get the cap to this. Lemon yellow, put it away for the next 20 years. Okay. I'm just hesitant for a second, hesitating here because usually, and I'm going to zoom in and I'll explain better, but usually when I do my yellow in my hearts right here, <clears throat> they usually stick out a lot more than they are on this canvas. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to, since I'm working on this, just put a second coat on that. I have my yellow right here. I have probably the right brush right here as well. So I might as well just do that. Add, go back over those and put a second coat of this golden yellow just so that it sticks out more. So I'll come back to camera number one. There. There, I think maybe that second coat will just make everything a lot nicer. 
and make it stick out more. Okay, so we got that done as well. Very good. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to do that, uh, the black outline to the plants on the bottom. That is what we said we would do. Go tackle this plant down here. So I'll set up the cameras first. I'm going to need my chair for that. I'll just bring this baby way on the side so I'm not in front of the lens. I know it's going to do a little bit of a distortion effect, but that's no big deal. Zoom in. Uh, I guess that's fine like that. And I'm going to do that out of black paint. So, where is my black paint? I guess right in front of my nose, right here. Oh, oh, God damn it, this is sealed tight. Oh, I can't believe it. There we go. Sheesh. God. I should clean this crap off, make it easier to close, or at least to open. No problem closing it. Opening it makes me look like a weak, a weakling. Okay. Ah, shit. Now I got black paint all over my, my hand. No big deal. Okay, so black paint. I got black right here in my cap. I'm going to just use one of my larger brushes to get the right texture. And then I'll switch to a smaller brush for the actual work. So let me get all this paint here in one place. I think I actually need just a little more than what's on my, my cap there. There we go. There are plenty of black paint. Let me scrape the edges off. God, no wonder why I have such a hard time opening this. I got a lot of paint on the edges. No big deal. What is, what is a big deal though is keeping my tools clean. So let's just wipe off this knife right away. There we go. And actually, if I'm going to do my nuclear guy afterwards, I might as well do a pretty good quantity of black paint. So I'm going to add just a little more. And like that, we kill two birds with one stone. There we go. And I'm going to use the biggest, biggest of my brushes Again, just to get the right texture of this black paint, so it looks like, well, I was going to say like ink, but a little bit thicker than ink. Because we definitely want to make sure that it's nice and opaque. There's no way we can do two coats of this, so I have to make sure we get it right the first time. So again... No point of me doing this on camera number one because it's basically just black on black. You can barely see it. And again, it's not rocket science, just mixing water with black paint. So there we go. Nice and creamy, a little thick still, though. There we go, add a big drop of water. And work this all in so it blends in. This looks pretty good. Looks like it's just a little thick. I think I can add a little more water. I don't think I'm gonna have enough paint to do my my mask. Uh, Guy, I'm probably going to have to add a lot more black, but we'll worry about that when we're done with the plant. I 
Now this would be perfect for the guy, but for my plant, I think I wanted a little more liquid. So I'm just going to add one another big drop of water and just work all this in. Blend it, stir it, stir it up. Little darling, stir it up. There, that looks pretty good. Now, the other important part is getting the right brush so I have total control over what I'm doing. So, I don't want one that's too thick and this baby looks just right. Or this baby here. So many choices. Thickness wise, they both look the same. One is just a little bit longer than the other. So I'll try the one with the longer hairs. And if I have no control over that, I'll just switch and take this other one. So let's get this brush wet. Let's pull my chair over. Camera number one is in place, okay. Just gonna step back for a second. You know what, I'm actually gonna grab a drink of water. Whoops, oh shit, I'm out of water. Wait, let me go back in my, I'll just go back over here. Just go back over to my kitchen area, which is back here, where I have a couple of bottles of water. There we go. I'll get my camera back on the plant here. And my brush, my palette. Hmm, is this the right brush or did I screw up here? Looks like the right brush. I'm, suddenly I have a feeling this isn't the right brush I, that I need. <clears throat> okay, we'll see. Let's try this out. <clears throat> I'll switch cameras, I guess, before I sit down or I'll put the double cameras on. There we go. Okay, this seems to work. I'm just going to start up here also so I don't get my hands in the paint. Ah, oh, fuck me, man. Just what I was saying, right? Don't want to put my hands in the paint. It's no big deal, though. A little saliva. A few cuss words. Just wipe it clean and then start over. But you know, that's why I always try to be careful where I start to avoid 
those kind of situations. Okay, I have to be careful here. I have a feeling I'm getting a little sloppy. There we go. All right. There we go. Very good. I'm going to switch over to my camera number one just so I can do the editing of my recap for tomorrow. There we go. Okay, very good. There we go. All right, the final stretch. Just like that, just two little screw ups I want to fix right up here. And right up here. Okay, that looks like it'll do the trick. Now, where am I at? Let's move this baby back. Let's bring this whole thing back as well. So 
I'm starting to hesitate about the frame. What to do with this frame? I had in mind when I started, I was thinking of red with some black, I mean, with some yellow leaves. And yesterday I had suddenly doing a black border with a whole bunch of little details to it. So I'm kind of pondering which, which way to go. I'm not quite sure. We'll worry about that, I guess, tomorrow. Right now, my problem is finishing off this nuclear guy. And for that, I need to find the right paintbrush. So again, I'm going to check out my three go-to guys and seeing which is the one that is going to do the trick. Hmm. That is a good question. Ah, yes. Yes, I knew I had one that would have. Ah, yes. Okay, very happy to have found this one. I knew I had something that was in between, and here he is. Going to put him to soak right away. On this guy we've already used. I'll put him back in the water so it doesn't dry. And... Uh, Actually, I am going to go and wash my paint brushes. So I'm going to put camera number one back here, zoom in a little bit, and then I'm very quickly going to take these brushes and wash them. It's just going to take two minutes and it's going to allow my, my paintbrush that I'm going to be using now, it's going to allow that to uh, soak up uh, the water and get softer. So I have more control so the paint flows better. So anyway, so I am just going to step back here. It's going to take less than a minute, but I'll have fresh water and clean brushes. And the whole point of this channel is to share everything together in the studio, and that includes washing our brushes with soap. So, especially these little brushes that are so fragile, I don't want any paint to cake up on that, because it does happen at the end of the stream that I forget to wash my brushes. It doesn't happen often, but it has happened, and I hate myself for it. So I try not to take any risks. But this is part of the procedure, part of the process. There we go, a little bit of soap, a little bit of fresh water. Ah, for the last few months, washing the paintbrushes was kind of a, a pain in the neck because the water was so cold. But since Monday, which I guess was yesterday, and the weather changed, even the water feels warmer. Washing the brushes is not as not a chore like it used to be before. So I have only one more brush to go. This is an important brush, so I'm going to be very brutal with it. It's that stiff brush that I used to put the cobalt, I mean the cerulean blue. And the tendency is that the paint goes all the way down to the wood that holds the hairs. And that's where I got to be brutal because as anybody who's done any kind of house painting knows, now that's where the paint cakes up and screws up your brushes over the long term. So I am very brutal 
by crushing these hairs all the way down and washing it at least several times, two, three times. Make sure all the, you see there's still a little bit of blue there that's coming out on the soap. But I'd rather be brutal and make sure everything comes off. There we go. There you go. Okay, so, so operation, brush cleaning, all done. Let's put these little guys away in their little nest right here. The big guy here is thin and fragile. These two guys can go over here. This big guy can go over here and my knife right there. And there we have it. I'm all set for phase two. So let me get the camera back over here to the side where we'll be tackling this guy in a few seconds. Okay, so this is where we're at now. Am I going to have enough paint? I might, I might. Just work everything out. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Looks like just the right texture. I'm very worried when I'm using the black paint because I don't know, about six months ago they changed. And when I say they, I'm talking about Liquitex, Le Front Bourgeois. These are the most expensive brands of acrylic paints here in France. And they've changed the way they put them, they, they, they changed the jars and whatnot. But I noticed the paint wasn't as opaque as it used to be. I mean, before I would put a black a streak and it would be nice and black and opaque. And then I noticed with these other uh, six months ago, or whatever, maybe a year ago, they changed the recipe or became cheaper with their pigments. I don't know. But I noticed a huge difference that it didn't cover as well as it used to. And I obviously, I called them up and of course fell on an answering machine, left bitch like crazy, but of course I never heard from them and don't expect to either. So, let me see, let me get over into the right rapport. I'll do this in two phases, tackle the head first and then the arms. Okay, so I am going to definitely have to get into phase for this. Damn it, hold on.
There, I'm going to switch brushes for the hands. Okay. Again, find the right kind of brush. I think this one will do fine. So when I just washed a few seconds ago. I'm going to just come back first and do this second eyeball right here. Just like that. So here, I don't know if it's the paint that's not opaque or do I have too much water on my brush? I'm just going to, there, take off some of the excess water, whatever. Bring the camera back down to the hands over here. I guess I can even move this over for a few seconds. I am going to grab my chair. There we go. Oops, a little hair there on my brush. And I put my hands in the paint of my plant just underneath. So I am going to have to get a rag right here. I'll show you my screw up. Ciao. And clean this up right there. God damn it. And right here as well and here. Fortunately, I caught it in time, but still, apparently I should have done this afterwards. Okay, I'm going to leave that like that because I can't get any, or can I? Well, I'm not going to screw with it. Leave it like that. Come back up to my hand and I'll fix the, the rest later. I mean, you know, when you come to the end of a painting, that's when you fix all the little screw ups. So I'll worry about that later. I'd rather concentrate right here on my hands. Like that. Just like that. Ah, oh, fuck me, I screwed up again. God damn it. Again, put my hand in the black paint from the plant. Ah, oh, fuck. Making a huge mess here. God, I'm gonna running out of saliva. I'm fixing all this shit. Okay. 
Jesus. <sighs> okay. Sorry about the swearing, folks, but... There we go. And right here as well. And let's get the, the sleeve without putting my hands in the paint, if possible. Okay, so I need to step back, take a look at all this. So you can see a lot of uh, little white, white things on the black paint, but that's the because the paint is on so thick that the light from the window shines on the wet paint and makes it look a little weird. Oh, what's going on here? There we go. So, just about got this done. Where am I here? I'm all lost. Okay, I'm on camera number two. Very good. I'm just going to finish this area right here. There we go. There we go. I'm going to step back for a second. And I'm going to want to do this right here as well. Okay, I like it. I'm just going to go and do this. Very good. And do that. Double checking, making sure all the black is nice and opaque. Uh, right here, you see, for example, just here needs a second little coat. Might as well do that right now. There we go. Okay, so let's take a look from afar what we did today. That is basically what we did. We finished our nuclear guy, finished our window in space, finished the last little plant on the bottom, which I will put some white paint eventually right here to fix it where I screwed up, but I'm going to wait for the black to be completely dry. So I'll do that when... We're doing all the final finishes, finishing touches. So, very good. Very good. Looks like I need a little bit of white paint there. I screwed up as well, looks like. Okay. The window into space looks very nice. 
Love it. Now tomorrow we'll start the frame. I'm not sure what, what. It would be nice if I had an idea right now what to do. I could put the first coat in right now. It'd be dry for tomorrow for either a second coat or to add some shadows to it. What am I going to do? What should I do? I was hesitating between red and black. I think I'm going to go with the black. I think black with some details, a little gold. I mean, the frames are basically a whole different painting to me. I spend more time on the frames sometimes than on the actual painting. That's how important the frames are for me. And if I am going to go with the black, which I think I am, I'm going to do that right now. So the stream is going on uh, longer than I thought. It's been, what, an hour and 15 minutes, so it'll be an hour and a half. No big deal. I am going to do that right now. I have the right paintbrush right here. I'll probably need two coats, too, so I might as well get this first coat on right now. I'll get the paint, the black paint out here, make a good quantity. I'll get my spoon out, actually, make sure I got a lot. There, like that. Tomorrow I won't have to decide. It'll be already done. No going back. Though I must say that red, the idea of the red paint was awfully tempting. But too late now. So, let me just pour in a little bit of water. There we go. And let's get the right texture again of this black paint so it flows on the canvas the way it should. I have a lot of water there. But it doesn't matter because I have a lot of paint as well. Working, working this paint with the water, going round and round. The table's turning round. There we go. Get the excess water out of the brush. Don't think I'll have enough black paint here, but it doesn't matter. We'll just make more if we have to. Okay, this looks pretty good. I know I'll have to put two coats on because, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, since they've changed the formula and start becoming a little stingy with the pigments, the black doesn't cover like it used to, which really is a friggin' shame. Okay, so let's start off going to be careful on the top because I definitely do not want this paint to be dripping on the main canvas. Let me get camera number one situated here. I'm going to start off with the top left hand corner, work my way down to the right. Okay, so let's go for it. See, that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Fortunately, the black paint did not spill on the canvas, but fell on the floor. So I have to be careful.
get this part done first. Okay, there we go. Seems to be covering very nicely, but I don't trust it because when it dries, it becomes a whole different, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll give it the benefit of the doubt. So I don't want to be too stingy on the paint either. There we go. Okay, very good over there. And I'll come back to here. I'll move just the camera over a little bit like that. And I'll tackle this inner edge first. Yeah, very good. Okay. I am going to add a little staple in this corner because I see the staple came out of the wall. There we go. Let's hold that into place. I actually could use the staple right here as well. here. There we go. And this I can go a little faster because if it drips it will, will not touch the centerpiece. So. I'm still going to move this over to the side. Seems like I was in front of it, which I hate being, doing. There we go. This is definitely going to change the whole look of the canvas with this border painted in. And I am going to grab my chair because I am not a masochist. I see no reason to suffer when you can be comfortable. I am going to have to make some more paint though, I can tell. But we'll worry about that in a few seconds. This is a new paintbrush as well, and it's not really broken in yet. 
So I have to keep an eye on some of these hairs that are going rogue. There we go. Nice and thick. Hopefully we'll not need another coat. Though in some areas I can see the marks of the brush, so I'm not sure. If it needs a second coat, that means tomorrow we'll have a five minute stream. And I hate wasting the day. Now I could wait a few hours and do it later. But I kind of like doing everything together so people see exactly what it entails. Okay, I think I just put a bunch of black paint on my nose as well. Okay, so. I'm going to be very close, but I won't have enough paint, I don't think. I'm going to get this upper right-hand side first. Get the chair out of the way. I'll go to the double cameras. And let's try this. Okay. I'll be close, but I won't have enough black paint. No big deal. This is still a major step forward. Okay, let me just grab a little more black paint, add a little water to it. Just gonna work it for a few seconds. I really don't have much to go, but still, okay. Where am I here? I'm still up there, let me bring this down, move it out of the way. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, very good. Let me just come back to this camera here and I'm going to move this one all the way back here. So we have a sense of the whole thing. Just like that. And I'm switching cameras so we can take a look at the whole thing. And I am here in my little kitchen because I have a whole bunch of black paint all over my nose. Now, fortunately, I have a mirror here. I don't have to go home in the tramway with people looking at me weird, even though I 
We do wear masks, but still. Okay, Jesus. All right. <laughs> okay. So, I guess that is the conclusion of our day. Just washed my nose full of black paint all over. Anyways, so I want to thank you for joining me. I hope you'll join me tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. We'll tackle the rest of this, the frame. And I was hoping we'd be done by Friday, but it'll depend how complicated the frame is going to be, how, many, how much detail I'm going to put into it. I usually put in quite a bit, so we'll see. But anyways, I'm going to leave you like usual with my schedule and by saying uh, ciao mes amis.